since about 2010, there have been experts that have been saying we were in a tech bubble and that that bubble was about to burst. But so far, there hasn't been that popping sound that the, those experts were predicting. There have been slowdowns. In fact, last year was a bit of a slowdown in Silicon Valley with uh, a moderate decrease in venture capital and the like, but definitely not a burst like they, that happened in during the dot-com bubble or the dot-com meltdown or even during the Great Recession, which Silicon Valley actually weathered fairly well. Now, we could say that there might be a greater risk now because of the presidency of Donald Trump. He's been very vocal on a number of issues important to the Valley and to tech in general. That And he's basically been at odds with the CEOs and the thought leaders in Silicon Valley, the tech, with the tech thought leaders. And that could create a greater danger this time around. But compared to the dot-com meltdown, uh, Silicon Valley these days is more diversified. Back then it was mostly hardware and, well, the internet and e-commerce. While these days tech has really expanded, especially Silicon Valley, it's got, you know, there's biotech, automotive tech, aerospace tech, green, clean tech. Uh, there's, they're even getting into the media with Netflix. They have content production. You have logistics, tech, space flight, the Internet of Things, which covers just about any product. That's, of course, that's a type of Internet tech. Uh, there's all types of software, apps, the whole mobile revolution. And ag tech, agricultural tech. So they're more diversified compared to the, the previous tech bubble in around 2000. And they're more experienced. So you could say that the, there's better vetting today. They have syndicates they use for, to, with thought leaders that that basically lead other investors, seed investors, and venture capital investors toward picking the the better prospects. That compared to the during the dot com area, dot com era, when people pretty much made those decisions on their own. There's a, a superior vetting system in place now, with a, a lot more in a superior system all around. But of course there's still a possibility that there could be a bubble, that there could be an overinvestment in tech, in tech. But that doesn't mean that necessarily that there would be a, a huge bursting phenomenon. It could just be an, a, a gradual downslide, as happens anyway. But a lot will depend on how California and the rest of the tech world is able to respond to the challenges that are they're facing that they're facing with the Trump presidency.